I'd like to share 26 incredible new features, tricks, actually not many people know. I'm not talking here about your standard changes in iOS 26, your standard features. These are actually found after doing a weeks of research and I'm sure some of these will absolutely be game changers for you. Okay, so number one, let's start with one of my favorite new features and that is the new battery intelligence charging feature. Basically what happens when you charge your device now, with iOS 26, you get on the top of your lock screen an indication how long it takes to charge to 80%. So let me show you how that looks. We turn our iPhone off and then on, and you can see a 40 minutes until it's charged to 80%. Number two, Apple brought back an awesome new screenshot feature I'm a huge fan of, and that is the magnifier gloss or loop. Basically now, when you edit your screenshot, click the plus icon, you have the new loop, or at least the loop that was removed in the past. And basically this is great, for example, if you want to highlight and focus on an image, something in the screenshot, you can make it bigger, smaller, and zoom in and zoom out. I know a lot of people, use Used this tool in the past obviously with liquid gloss apple had to bring this back and what you for example can also do is you can change the stroke uh, size the color how thick it is there are some nice customization options here great to see this back again then number three you now can quickly make your own ringtones add them to your iphone in order to do this you need to go to the files app Inside the files app, you need to upload your mp3 or m4a file and then just long press on it, hit share and then you get this new use as a ringtone icon. You can just click on it. You need to make sure obviously that the sound is under 30 seconds. You'll get this notification if that's the case. And then once you've added it, you can find it back into settings, then go to sounds and haptics, go to your ringtone. And there you can see the new ringtone that has been added. Number four, there's a new camera feature that is going to be game changing for many of us. If we go into settings, then scroll to the camera. And in here, go all the way to the bottom, there's this new lens cleaning hint. I recommend you to toggle this on. What this does is it will actually give you a warning when there is a smudges or dust on your iPhone's camera lens. So you get a hint saying that you need to clean your lens. This is actually really important because a lot of photos are disturbed by dirty lenses. A nice a little hint can definitely help you up your photography game. Number five is about vehicle motion cue. This was introduced in iOS 18 and an amazing feature. So if we go to settings and we scroll to accessibility, then we go to motion. In here we go to vehicle motion cues. We all know what this could do. We got the dots on the side when you're in a car and the dots actually prevented you from getting car sick. This has been upgraded and updated in iOS 26 because now you have the possibility to customize the appearance. You can make the pattern dynamic. You can change the color of the different dots and you can make the dots larger and even add more dots. This makes it way easier to customize. If for example, the regular pattern and colors didn't work for you, this is definitely going to help you. And number six, we go to settings and there is a new head tracking feature. To access this, we need to go to accessibility, scroll down and in here we have eye tracking and head tracking. Eye tracking was in iOS 18, but now we also have head tracking. I know this was available on the Mac, but now it's also here on your iPhone in iOS 26. And basically you can control your iPhone with your head. You can have certain actions being done by raising your eyebrows, open your mouth or smile. So let's test that. Let's toggle this on. And as you see, I am moving the cursor. Um, if I raise my eyebrows, I go to the home screen. If I stick out my tongue, I can open the control center, just like that. Number seven, now screenshots have radically changed. If you take a screenshot, you get immediately this new design. It looks amazing, has some awesome features, but some people really prefer to have the thumbnails in the bottom. And you can easily bring this back by going into settings, then go to general. In general, scroll to screen capture, and then just toggle off full screen previews. And now you get the screenshot at thumbnail here in the bottom back that a lot of people liked. 
Uh, you can see that if you did that, you had the multiple screenshots as well. You can easily toggle this on or off. And then still in screenshots, there's a new circle to search feature. Let's say we have this image. You can then, for example, search anything in an image. Let's search for this clock and immediately you go to Google and you can see the image being searched and then you get all the references to this specific image great for products for example and yeah you can even tap on it again to see again how this looks inside of google you can also use ChatGPT with it next up with regards to carplay so carplay is amazing but there was one annoying thing that apple fixed in ios 26 and that is when you took screenshots both your iphone and your car screen were screenshotted well now you can actually fix this if you go to a general go to screen capture again you can toggle carplay screenshots on or off now when you take a screenshot on your iphone in your car you don't get a screenshot of your car's display as well great you just focus on your iphone number 10 again going back to the battery there is a new adaptive power mode so if we go in battery into settings and then scroll to power mode there's this new adaptive power mode that uses ai and battery intelligence to help you save some battery when your battery usage is higher than usual your iphone can make small performance adjustments to extend your battery life this includes lowering the display brightness or allowing some activities to take a little longer a really useful ai adaptive power feature i think many should just toggle on by default number 11 has to do with the new alarm app well at least the alarm app got a massive update now let's for example set an alarm so let's go to the clock and now set an alarm for just a one minute and we have to wait here. You can see we have this totally newly redesigned alarm UI, two massive buttons so you don't miss. You can snooze or stop. And number 12, also still in the alarms. When we click on the alarm, we now have a new snooze duration option. We can now set the snooze duration to whatever we'd like, to one minute or up to 15 minutes. The default is gone. Great to customize this to your preference. Number 13 for people who wear headphones or AirPods and hated the auto switching. For example, when you enter the car or you have a speaker next to it well now there's a new setting to fix that if we go to settings then a general go to airplay and continuity there's this new keep audio with headphones featured or toggle when you toggle this on and uh, when using airpods or other wireless headphones it will keep the audio with the headphones when other devices like speakers or cars connect to the iphone then you're sure your audio sticks into your airpods or headphones it's not switching to your car or to another speaker number 14 has to do with the redesigned camera so now if we go to settings and we go to camera there's a new section in the composition screen when you go on the indicator step you can actually toggle on the different indicators you'd like to see in the camera app so the flash live photo or action mode but let's say you don't want these in the top to be visible let's go to the camera app and as you can see there's nothing on top here you can still access them here but let's say you want them in the top for quick access you can just toggle these indicators on and they'll be in the top back again for quick and easy access next number 15 there's a new menu in notes for text and typing so let's go to the notes app and as you can see here there's this new menu here not only is it beautifully new and well designed but as you can see here there are a lot of additional things that have been added here to this menu it's quicker and easier to access making notes so much easier to use with this new tab here just above your keyboard all right number 16 is that apple introduced auto mix and trust me this is an absolute game changer it's never been seen before in this style in this quality in this way a lot of people are saying it's similar to the one from spotify but trust me it's actually better and uses a lot more ai and other features to really make auto mix unique so in order to access this we need to go to apps then in here we need to find the music app there it is now we have this new section song transitions there it is auto mix and you can see or you can do just crossfade which is 
the volume of the first song just lowering and then the new song just going higher and that's the fade but now auto mix uses ai analyzes for example the vocals and the rhythm of the both tracks and fluently blends them in each other i made a bunch of reels about this and it actually is an incredibly powerful feature like i'd love to hear what djs think of this and i cannot demonstrate this for copyright reasons but trust me it's a really a game changer then number 17 has to do with going back in iOS 18 if we wanted to go back to a screen you could just go back by for example swiping the screen but you had to swipe from the left all the way to the right so here in the middle it didn't work you have to do this all the way from the left to the right well now in iOS 26 you can simply do this from the middle just like here you see that a nice a little adjustment just to go back, I really love small adjustments like these. Next up, and this is a big one, there's a new local capture feature. So uh, let's go to the control center, click on add a control and add the new local capture feature. What this actually does is when you're in a conference call, for example, in Zoom or FaceTime or Teams, you can actually record everything. And after that, you get high quality audio and video files right into the files app. Absolutely amazing for podcasts also so let me give you a demonstration of how this works so uh, let's set up a, a facetime call here all right there it is um, and let's slide to answer and go to the control center and start our local capture yeah now we're just basically in this call and we have local capture turned on as you can see you get this camera recording option let's quit the call just like that we can go to our recorded audio and yeah now we're just basically in this call another amazing new feature is live captions basically what this does is to provide real-time speech and transcription of audio from different apps like for example the phone app or facetime calls yeah you can enable this inside of your settings so let's search for a live captions. There it is, accessibility live captions. And we can turn this on. And as you can see, you can already have this, for example, with the current uh, microphone. Uh, let's put it on iPhone audio. And as you can see, you can make this a bigger or smaller and it transcribes everything I'm saying. This is great for people who maybe cannot hear or have problems hearing and then they can exactly see what's being said. This just floats on top of everything. Live captions, an absolute game changer if you ask me. All right, next, number 20 is that we get new uh, background sounds. So if you're familiar with background sounds, you know these are peaceful and relaxing a background audio that you have access to in your control center if you click a background sounds uh, let me show you what i mean you can long click on it you can select any different sound and then I have this peaceful relaxing a background sound while you work or want to go to sleep and apple added a bunch of new sounds like for example rain on roof or quiet night and there are a bunch of others and what you now can also do with regards to background sounds is you can add a timer for it. So in order to do this, we need to go to a settings and then we need to go to accessibility, audio and visual. There you are, background sounds. And then if you scroll to the bottom, you can actually now stop a sound with a timer. So let's say you wanna fall asleep and just wanna have a timer turning the sound off after, for example, a specific time or after an amount of time, you now have the possibility to do that and just a little bonus here is that you can also change the eq uh, if you want to change the eq of the background sound you can actually do this the lows the highs change them the balance as well if you're in that kind of thing that's also right now available for background sounds 22 with regards to editing on the home screen now if you long press to edit your home screen click on edit there's this new edit a wallpaper section that has been edited by apple and basically you can immediately edit your home screen instead of going to the lock screen and there change it it's a hassle to do that and now this can be quickly fixed inside of the home screen itself number 23 is that apple introduced a new preview app so 
the preview app was available already on Mac, but now it's also available on your iPhone and it's an extremely powerful and cool app. If you go into there, you can immediately scan any document if you want. Let's quickly take a scan of the iPhone for the sake of this video, just like uh, that. And then we click on keep scan. And what's really cool, when we save it, we can immediately make edits here. Uh, for example, if we have a contract or anything, we can add our signature, Apple Design. Uh, just like that, we can add our signature quickly inside of the preview app. Next up, a number 24, and this is inside of the Messages app. But we now have the possibility to select partial text. So let's say we want to copy just a part of a message. In the previous iOS, it wasn't possible. Well, now let's say we just want to have this section here. We select, and then we can precisely select the text we need, just like that. Also looks amazing with the new uh, magnifier. We copy it and we can paste it wherever we want. Number 25, and that is that you now get a battery indication or alert with regards to your AirPods. So as you can see here, I received this notification, AirPods battery low. And now if you go to the overview, you can see uh, battery low. So we got the message, the case is 30% charged. You can also go to battery in the settings and then change the charging notification if you don't want this. Nice to make sure that your AirPods are charged at the right time. And lastly, a number 26 has to do with the phone app. Now inside of the phone app, there's this new overview. It looks amazing, but some people maybe don't like this. You can easily go back to the classic screen just by hitting the top right and then go back to classic. You can see Pretty easy. 26 things introduced in iOS 26, not your typical tips, tricks, and features, but more the little tidbits not many people know. Let me know in the comments if you have any other cool tips, tricks, features you'd like to share with the community, with me. Thanks for being here. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, like this video, and see you in the next one. Peace.